Now to a developing story that we have been following since our morning newscast. A deadly big rig crash near McKinley and West Mount Houston in North Harris County. This is new video released since our last report showing the suspect in the case running away from that crash scene. It's just one of the new developments we are getting this midday. KPRC 2's Brittany Jeffers joining us live from the scene of the crash with those details. Brittany, good morning. Hey, good morning to you. Many new developments here in the past 20 minutes or so. Crews were able to remove that semi truck from the front of the house, and I want you to look. You can see the roof has collapsed. And I did speak with the homeowner's brother out here. He tells me his loved one has extensive injuries, and he is heartbroken that he lost the love of his life. He killed somebody. For Chris Conyer says when his brother Jeff woke up in the middle of the night, everything he loved was taken from him. He lost every single thing that he owns. He has nothing. And even the shirt off his back, they cut it off at the hospital. This surveillance video shows the moments a stolen 18 wheeler came barreling down the intersection of Lincoln and McKinley in northwest Harris County. The suspect is accused of stealing a big rig from a trucking company about 10 miles away. There was a brief pursuit. The officers attempted to initiate the traffic stop. Detectives say the suspect bailed out at the intersection, and this video shows the suspect darting across the grass before officers arrested him. They say then the 18-wheeler crashed into Conyers' home while he was sleeping, pinning him under the truck. The next thing he knows, he's, it's pitch black, he's being crushed, and he's underneath the truck, and the truck's still running, and diesel fuel was leaking out. And he called for his wife. She is already gone. Officials with the Harris County Sheriff's Office say two other people made it out of the home unharmed, but Conyers' wife died at the scene. And that was the love of his life. That's the only thing he's talking about at the hospital. Officials with the district attorney's office say the man behind the wheel is Eric Black. They say he has a lengthy criminal record and was on parole for evading arrest in a motor vehicle. He was taken to the hospital with minor injuries, but Conyers says his brother wasn't as lucky. He's lucky to be alive. He's now facing a long recovery. He's in a very bad position. Nobody would want to be in that position ever. Now, the suspect in this case, Eric Black, being charged with murder as well as reckless aggravated assault. Now, Conyers says that his brother has a very long road of recovery ahead of him. He says he's put together a GoFundMe page uh, to help with those medical expenses. You can find that if you search for this story on our website, clicktohouston.com. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. Brittany, thank you.